Nagaland Deputy Chief Minister Waipaton said on Monday that the state cabinet is going to discuss the police recruitment on November 8 and assured that it will be an open recruitment and there should not be any backdoor appointment. Earlier, Paton expressed confidence that BJP will get full majority in all the five states that is heading for assembly polls. He also informed that the municipal election will probably take place next year if bill passed. Thank you so much, sir, for giving your time to Hornbill TV. Sir, uh, firstly, how do you see the chances of BJP as five states are going to balls? Do you think that the opposition parties are gaining popular amongst voters again? Thank you for having me in your channel. This uh, coming five state elections, people may say this and that, but we are going to get a full maturity in all the states. Sir, so many aspirants are waiting for the police department to take out advertisements post. Uh, when will that happen? And also, uh, DGB Rubin Sharma has said that there will be no backdoor appointments. So will that happen for all departments? For our police recruitment, we are going to discuss in the cabinet day after tomorrow. That is on 8. So uh, it may be open recruitment. Yeah, it should not be any backdoor appointment. Sir, and there is going to be a special session on 9th of November, Assembly session. So if the new municipal bill is passed, will the municipal and council election take place soon? Will that, uh, is there a possibility? We are going to discuss this uh, issue on 9th. So after our discussion, we will come to know whether we will have within this year or after a few months or next year. But most probably... This year, there's no time now, so by uh, next year. Yeah. So uh, each MLA is entitled un uh, to two growers under MLA Local Area Development Fund. So having served the 37 Assembly constituency three times back to back, what are your areas of concern? You can visit my constituency in all the three ranges, Nero Range, Jagatong Range, England Range. You will see the development activities taken up by me under this uh, local area development fund. Sir, lastly, is there any possibility that the NLTP Act will be discussed in the Assembly since uh, organizations have uh, discussed to meet to abrogate NLTP Act in Dimapur? That will come to know only on it after our cabinet discussion. MLA YM Humtsoi, speaking to Hornbill TV, defended the opposition-less government, said that the 60 MLAs are united and working for the development of the state. Thank you so much, sir, for giving your time to Hornbill TV. Sir, each MLA is entitled to two growers under MLA Local Area Development Fund. Having represented uh, 38 assembly constituencies, sir, what are your areas of concern? It is 1.50. Yeah, 50 is for... Uh, aspirational, uh, I mean, uh, schemes, uh, uh, that's a different scheme, but five, uh, one grow is for the constituency. I have distributed all the uh, money for taking up all developmental works in all the 15 villages, including down in, in my constituency. So do you think that the people no longer have anyone uh, speaking for their grievances in the assembly because uh, now that there is no party to ensure accountability for the government? No, we are, 60 of us are united. Whatever is happening in one constituency is also happening in my constituency. And developmentally wise, we get our share, all of us, so... Whatever little amount that we get for our constituency, we will put that thing into good use for the people, for the welfare of everybody.